hello everyone and welcome to Splash. We've got a great story to listen to this morning, but before we do that, we're going to sing our wiggle song. So I hope you're all ready to wiggle. Said I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get the wiggles out of me. I'm gonna shake my hands, gonna shake my feet. I'm gonna shake my head, gonna groove to the beat. Cause I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get the wiggles out of me. I said I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get the wiggles out of me. Wiggle, 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 Said I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get the wiggles out of me. Skiddly sky, skiddly dee. I gotta get the wiggles out of me. Cause I wanna hear the story. It's gonna be fun. It's here that the Jesus is for everyone. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get the wiggles out of me. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Said I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get the wiggles out of me. I said I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get the wiggles out of me. I said I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get the wiggles out of me. Take it down and see. And I wonder where Betsy is today. Betsy, Betsy, are you here yet, Betsy? Hello, Sally. Hello, Betsy. How are you today? I'm having a great day and I'm so excited to hear today's story. Well, today's story carries on from where we left off last time, the last time's story. Oh, the story about how God made Everything. That's right. Today we're going to hear the story about the first people that God made. Can you remember what they're called? Um, it was Adam. Yes. Um, and um, it was Adam and Eve. Oh yes, I remember now. They lived in a beautiful garden that God made. They? That's right, Betsy. They did live in a beautiful garden. Yes, and it was full of creatures mm. and animals of all kinds. There were flowers, plants, trees and lots of good things to eat mm. like apples and bananas, mm. blueberries, carrots and crisps. I love crisps, Sally. Yeah, Betsy, I'm not sure that there would have been crisps because oh. I don't think anyone had discovered how to make them yet. Oh. But there were lots of other things to eat that God told them they could eat in the garden. Oh, but there was one thing they couldn't eat, wasn't there, Sally? That's right, they couldn't eat the fruit of one of the trees in the garden. Yes. But God said they could eat everything else. I can remember what happened next, I think. That's good. This is the bit about the sneaky snake. That's right, Betsy. He hissed mm. in Eve's ear and told her God was being just mean when he said they couldn't eat the fruit. That's right. He took the fruit and said to Eve, showed her how delicious it looked and how ripe and how oh. juicy. And he said oh. to Eve, just have one bite. One bite oh. won't hurt anybody. It will taste delicious. And Eve did eat the fruit and it was delicious. Oh. So delicious that she took some of the fruit for Adam oh. to try oh. too. And then they heard God calling them. 
And so they tried to hide because they knew that they'd done the one thing that God had told yeah. them not to do. But you can't hide from God, can you, Sally? You can't hide from God. God knew yeah. what they had done and they said that it was the snake's fault. But God was sad and disappointed. This is the sad part, isn't it? I don't mm. like this bit. God told them they couldn't live in the mm. garden anymore, didn't he? He did. They weren't able to live in the beautiful garden anymore. But God still loved them though, didn't he Sally? He did. God still loved them and cared for them, just yes. as he loves and cares for each of us. I like that story, even if there weren't any crisps. <laughs> Betsy, I wonder what our craft is today, Sally. I don't know, but shall we find out? Yes, please. Well, thank you, Sally and Betsy. That was a fantastic version of the story of Adam and Eve and the sneaky snake. For our craft today, we're going to make a sneaky snake. Here he is. You see he's got a red sticky out tongue just there on his little face. And he's made very easily out of paper chains. So to start my snake, I had a piece of A4 paper and I just cut that into strips. Now I used green and yellow paper. You can use any colour paper you want. I actually also made, look, an orange and blue one. Can you see? And he looks pretty good too. But any colour or plain white will do. And once you've got your strips, you need a glue stick. And if you don't have a glue stick, you can use PVA or you could also just use sellotape and these will sellotape together really easily too. There we go. So I've made one loop. If you're using two colours, then you need a different colour next. Bit of glue on the end of that. And you just post it through. I think lots of you grown-ups will already know how to do this. So I'll just show you one more. I'm going to use a different colour. Got a green strip this time. Bit of glue. And you just post it through and stick them together until you've got enough loops to make your snake and that can be as long or as short as you like and when it came to doing the face I just got one strip and after trying both ways it's much easier to do the face before you glue this loop on so I had a flat strip and I've just drawn on the eyes and two little dots for the nose and I've stuck on a tongue and again, that tongue can be any colour you like, or you could just draw it on and that would just be good too. And same as the other bits, just a bit of glue on that. And then you loop it on. And that is how you make your sneaky snake craft. I hope you have fun doing it and that it helps you remember the story of Adam and Eve and the sneaky snake. We're going to say our prayer now. You can close your eyes if you'd like to, but you don't have to. God hears our prayers whenever and however we pray. Let's pray. Father God, you know us so well. You know the things that we do that you don't want us to. And we thank you, Father, there is nothing we can do that will ever stop you loving us or caring for us. Are you ready with your big voice? Amen! Well, I hope you've had a really good time today at Splash. So before we go, we're going to sing our goodbye song. We're going to sing our blessing song and wave goodbye. Goodbye.